بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما authentication using local database now if you want we can do triple authentication by either using a local database and the local database we are going to store the username and the passwords on the local device and if any user is trying to log into the device by using either telnet or ssh the router is going to check the local database the local username and the password and it will allow the user to log into that particular device now we can use either this method or we can actually tell the router to send this information to the external servers like tacax server and we can also do some external server based authentication also so more on this we'll see in the next classes so but uh, but commonly we use external server based authentication which is referred as a primary authentication method and due to some reason if that fails we can always use the local as a fallback fallback authentication method using this one as a local local as a fallback so in this example i'm going to configure only the local authentication uh, but in the next next videos we'll we'll also see how to configure on the external servers as well so authentication using local database as i said the username and the password are stored on the local device to which you are trying to authenticate or log in and it's going to store the username and the password in the local database and practically not a scalable solution in practically not a scalable solution so if you have a very small network with with some uh, very very small less number of devices like 5 to 6 we can still go with the local database now to configure this local database authentication first we have to enable the triplet process now triplet process by default will be enabled disable so we need to enable this in order to use any of the triplet commands so triplet new model is a command to enable the triplet process and then we can configure one local user account so that i can whenever a user tries to log into this router via telnet i must have a user account created and that's what we are trying to do here create one user account or we can create multiple user accounts as per the requirement now next thing we need to enable the triplet triplet authentication and that's what we are doing triplet authentication should be enabled for login now if i use a login option means i'm trying to enable for any user who is trying to log in through vty or the console lines by using any any of the telnet or ssh or any of the uh, web web sessions like http or any other sessions so for the login and then we can give any name for the list now this is actually the list of authentication methods we can use so we can configure uh, either just local that's what i'm trying to do here or in the in the next scenarios we can create a list with a name called cci which is going to use uh, maybe a tacax protocol as a primary authentication method and the second option i can tell radius and the third i can say local and then we apply this list inside the console or the vtb lines so that if any user is trying to log into the device either of these lines it's going to use this authentication list and that list refers to use tacax authentication if that is not responding go back to the radius or if it is not working then you can also fall back to the local authentication so in my example i'm not using multiple so i'm just using only local authentication but in the later on sessions when we configure with external servers the most of the configuration still remains the same so this these are the basic commands we we need to configure so to verify this i i got a pre configured topology here uh, in my packet tracer and i got the routers which which are pre configured with 192.168 uh, the this species are pre configured with 192.168.1.0 network and the routers are also pre configured like if i go to router 1 and if i try to verify show ip interface brief this is my gateway 192.168.1.100 and i'm able to ping to my pcs in the lab like 1.1 1.2 1.3 and 1.4 computers so in this scenario i'm going to uh, configure this router with a local uh, authentication process now to enable the local authentication the same commands i can use so i'll go to router 1 and i'll click the configure triplet new model 
and then we'll create one user account username admin and the password and then we'll also enable triplet authentication now when I say triplet authentication now when we use triplet we can use if you use question mark you've got multiple options like triplet authentication authorization and accounting at this point of time we are using authentication and then we can do authentication for multiple options like we can use it for enable password enable authentication for login on the console or the video lines or even you can use them in the PPP authentication process but generally in the broadband connections or on the service for networks so in my case I'm using for logging now there are two options here I can use either a specific name for the list of authentication methods I want to use like I'm using CCI here or I can just use an option of default now if I use a default name which means uh, you don't need to apply on the console or the VT balance because if I use the name called default here instead of instead of a specific name for the authentication list uh, it, it, it will be applied automatically so let me try default option and then I'll, I'll also modify with the uh, other options so I'll use default as of now and I want to use a local authentication but not the group if you are using server based we use group authentications but at this point of time I'll be using just local authentication now if I use default I don't need to apply on these lines so which means automatically it ensures that anyone trying to log in through through this any of the line they will be using a default list of authentication with a local authentication so we can also configure primary radius and tags like that so for testing we need to go to any one of the device so I'll, I'll go to my computer and I'll try to ping to my 1.100 device that's my router so from this PC I will initiate a telnet connection and then I'll verify logging with the local user account so if I say telnet 182.168.1.100 you can see the admin and the password is NY123 and you can see I'm able to log in. okay so the if I use a default option like on the router one I'm using default option so it will it will ensure that you don't need to you need you don't need to apply on the any of the lines so it, it's something enabled by default but again if you don't want to use default preferable you 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 actually apply on the specific lines whichever you want so that's the reason uh, I generally don't prefer the default option so we'll try to remove this default option and then we'll try to enable the login authentication with some name so whenever we are using a name other than default then it becomes mandatory for us to apply a login authentication with that list name saying that anyone who is trying to log in on the VTV line they, the authentication method should follow the list what I have mentioned in the CCI list and it shows only local authentication should be allowed at this point of time so again if you verify now or else if you don't apply it's not going to work so you need you must apply this and if I try once again I go to my router I can move on to other device I'll try to ping to my 192.168.1.100 to verify the reachability, the LAN connection, and then I'll try to initiate a connection from 1.100. The username is admin and NY123. So maybe I mistyped the password. Now you can see I'm able to log in. But if you go on the console line, because we didn't apply this list on the console line, so if I go back to my console. So it's not applied. You can see there's no authentication applied on the console screen. So if you want to do the same thing for the console, then we need to go to the console and then we have to say login authentication CCI. So mostly we don't we don't enable on the console screen because uh, for console access you need a physical security to the router. So uh, but still you know if you, if anyone trying to log in on the console, you want the router to prompt for the username and the password then we have to enable on this line as well 